Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about your projects and what project you should pick in order to best reflect the skills that you will need as a professional software developer. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what is the best project for a new developer to learn in order to, uh, how, to learn how to do professional grade work? And I would say that the short answer is that the web shop is probably the best thing that you can work on. So I'm going to say that and I'm going to add two requirements to this project. I'm going to say that your uh, your best option is usually to create a platform of some sort and it doesn't have to be a web shop but I think that the web shop is probably the easiest and simplest and most straightforward thing to, to, to start on and it's still ref gonna reflect reality and you should be able of course to go to a landing page find some like list out a bunch of products search for some products be able to go and actually go to the product page to see the information about the product buy it add it to a cart or something like that and then of course go through a purchase flow but you should also be able to uh, register as a user in order otherwise you should be a, able to create an account of some sort so that you actually have the product the information that is needed in order to do the shipping and like all of that good stuff right and then the second requirement will be that you should be able to log in as an administrator to a administrative section of the product or a, sim a separate system at the very, uh, something like that where you can actually upload the products that are going to be displayed in the platform that the users are, are going to those are the two requirements now the reason why I think that this is the best project to work on is because if you can do this you are ready to start your own company if you wanted to you, I promise you like if you can get this from your laptop to some it doesn't even have to be advanced thing it can be like a like a droplet or Heroku box or something like that if you can get this live so that it's actually usable you have the skills to produce what practically 99.999 percent of all the systems out there are doing the thing is guys this is like the this format is what most of e-commerce is about there are of course very advanced versions and there are more features and so forth but this is these are the basics these are the core skills to be able to do this so that's why i think it's a very good exercise because it most closely reflects in many ways although it's still at a simple level what you're going to do if you start working in an IT company and I think that that's the best way to practice this because what you're gonna go through you're going to learn how to deal with the front end how to build a UI and all that good stuff you're gonna have to deal with back-end work and, and think about API designs and like SBA versus server-side rendering and like you're gonna have to take care of all of these sorts of questions right and with dealing with assets and images and then of course you have architecture and decisions that are gonna have to be made what domain models are you gonna need and how you're gonna store that what database are you going to use for what purposes and then of course you have the user account requirement which is going to lead you to okay how do you want to grab that information are you going to how, how do you deal with user accounts are you uh, do you are you making sure that you're hashing passwords or you're going to you are you going to use like just a password sign in and if that's the case how is that going to work are you going to do a like a mail send out with a confirmation email or you can uh, use uh, Google or Facebook or some other OAuth type of solution to do the whole thing etc etc right and then of course access rights is important because now that you have user accounts and you have admins and you have users how are you making sure that the admins can log in and into their admin section but the users can't access that and are you making sure that users can't like a uh, it's not that a user can't like exploit the system in some way so that a user account can upload products even if it's not the ui it's just like endpoint calls and stuff like that there are all these complexities to dealing with this but they are pretty much literally ex like i honest to god just by saying the things that i just said i basically described the thing that i did last like like last week like at at my work I, this is practically what I did like uh, a lot of these different elements are things related to this so I think that this is, this is a very very good project for you to start with so what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to start a project and 
it's and have that product kind of tell you if you are ready to do professional grade software development. I think that the web shop is the best, one of the best at the very least products for you to start on. The requirements that should be there is that all right, you're going to be it's going to be a standard web shop. But at the same time, you are going to have to use user accounts and you're going to have to have admin accounts as well. And so that admins can actually upload products to the platform. And if you can produce this whole thing and you can actually ship that thing in, I put it online so that it's actually usable, you have practically done everything that is needed of you in order to be useful on most software projects. You're not a senior developer of course or like I'm not talking about experience here I'm just saying that now you have the skills to be useful and I would say that if you want to go in and start looking for employment and things like that you can start doing that at this point because you you can produce like you know what the deal is this is roughly what everybody's doing at different levels of course and if you want to be a freelancer you should definitely not feel insecure about being a freelancer at this point because now you can produce something that is definitely at the level that you're gonna have to work at in order to produce the more common or sophisticated systems that someone might ask you to build have a great day